Oh my okay, gosh. Okay, about accents, accents. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh so dear. I have family from Wisconsin, you know? And so sometimes I just start doing that, you know? I don't know where it um, comes from. Actually, that started sounding like Buffalo. Like one time I was in Buffalo and they said salad. Yeah, I want a salad. Like a waitress. I was like, salad. salad. Oh. Yeah. You know? There's a woman here in Subinville. I go and I buy something. I don't want to say where she's from because I don't want to out her or make her feel bad. But the way <laughs> she says thank you yeah. really annoys me. Uh, how does she say? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Something like that. Sounds like she's a, like a valley girl. Is thank that what y'all. that is? Thank uh, you. Like, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. Like, why are you <laughs> saying you? Here's the other thing that bothers me, and I'm sure I have done it, mm-hmm. is when you say goodbye to someone on the phone. Like, All right, see you. And they go, mm-hmm. Yeah, bye. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, you don't bye. Like mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a thing people do, right? Bye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? The, the, the thing, tag, right? Right. Right. You know? Right? I do the, do the tag thing, you know? Yeah. Well, that's not bad, though. You know? That doesn't annoy right? me. Neil, anything, any annoying? Oh, um, <laughs> oh, here we go. I, I had a lady at church who would say far instead of fire. She would say far and instead of desire, she would say desire. Desire. So when she would lecture at church, the, the far of the Lord. Was, was like, it a southern kind no, of No, it wasn't even uh, like the far. I was like fire, fire. What's, what's some of your pet peeves? And you can, you can feel free to jump in. In like talking? Just life, everything. Oh, Lord. I've got one that's going to offend all of my friends. I definitely have pet peeves. One of my biggest pet peeves is driving. Like, and in, in when people are in the fast lane and they are not passing, the, it's like the point of this lane is to Let be- Let me remind you. Is to be passing. I wish I had a sign that was like, because it, there are literally signs that said, trap slower traffic, keep yeah. right. Yeah. And oh, it, it bothers me to high heaven when people are in Those the Those magnets lane. on the back of cars that say, who saved who? Nobody. Nobody saved anybody. Wait, what? You know the animal footprint who saved who? Like you rescued a dog. No, you, no one rescued anybody <laughs> unless you drag them out of a burning building. I've or never seen they, that. Oh, that bothers me. Also, uh, when people chew their ice. God, I oh, hate that so much. Mine's mine are perpetual snifflers. <laughs> oh, the chewing of the icing. Let's go back to that. Because sometimes <laughs> I'll think to I think to myself, I thought you were a decent person, <laughs> and then they'll drink and they'll. <laughs> They'll chew their ice in front of me. Mine is people go to the bathroom and chew it. <laughs> Chewing with their mouth out. open or God, in yeah. Hell. Like literally, I had a friend in high school. He was a really good friend of mine, and he thought maybe I liked this other dude. <laughs> and then he saw the guy eat a salad, a, a salad, and he was like, "Oh no, you could never." Because I. Uh. So by the way, so I have very sensitive ears, and when I read Saint Therese of Lisieux's story of a soul, she talks about that. Seriously, she talks about that. She, she goes, does, yeah. She there's a part I'm like, she's like. I have very sensitive ears. I'm like, oh, me too, me too. And she's like, and there was a nun behind me clicking her beads. And I'm like, oh, I get annoyed by that too, Therese. Yeah. You know, I think I was like 19 or 20 reading this book and she was 24 when she died. So I thought I have time yes. to be as holy <laughs> as Therese. Yes, you do. And she goes, and I wanted to turn around with all all my might and look at this sister and i was like oh How i feel beautiful that. is I it i feel that and then she this is where we depart okay she goes <laughs> this is where we depart she goes i didn't slap her and then i listened to the noise intently and made it as if it was a chorus to jesus and i'm like <laughs> you've lost me Therese. yeah you've lost me a woman you know because i'm like i i yeah, can hear people's watches ticking me. Two pews ahead of me. Yeah. That's how now with sensitive ears, anyone else, it's like it's a good it's a curse and a blessing. It's a blessing because musically you can hear harmonies, you can hear accents, all those good things, but then you can hear everything. You can hear like I will literally be in a crowded place like a church and be like, Bobby, do you hear that person going? I hate the sniffle thing. I'm like, I'm just so blow your nose. I'm so offended by it. <laughs> like I'm in adoration and someone's sniffling. I'm like, you know that this is an inordinate amount of sniffling. Well, Go just, away. Go you, somewhere else. Do you not hear how quiet it is? And that the one thing is... <laughs> or when, when people are praying the rosary, but they're whispering it. Oh. I hate that. Oh, Matthew. I hate... Yeah, <laughs> this the S sound. Oh, <laughs> the little whistle. Oh, oh, the whistle, the S whistle. I, yes, don't even. So all these noise. I'm like, Lord, time off purgatory, please. Time off purgatory. But if, if we were to have a drink right now and I was chewing my ice, that wouldn't bother you. I don't mind the chewing ice because I don't mind the crunching sound as much as like the wet slap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think people who chew their ice should be able to vote. <laughs> it's a vote. No, I the chewing gum, 
the yeah oh lord i think during my sats there was a sniffler and i was like dear baby jesus the sniffler <laughs> yeah it's like just blow your nose so yeah you've gotten me i have pet peeves on driving for sure and then i have like sound here's another thing that bothers me peeves. and it's one of these things that i think is so unique that'll alienate alienate 90 percent of my audience oh no i don't know why anybody would leave their phone on such that it bings when they get a text message that mm. pierces me off I, bing 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 <sighs> just put it on vibrate yeah. put it in your pocket <laughs> i hate that I, Does you do you really is that a th yeah you don't like that either? no I no I oh, I was expecting I had this, both of you to disagree with no me. I had this happen recently <laughs> that a woman it was like just get on the phone and call the guy she literally was leaving oh. voice and then it would bing and she would do it she literally did it for twenty minutes straight in the airport I was like oh my gosh just call him because she was voice texting with her. yes <laughs> was, ding ding and it's, <laughs> it interrupts. The family life, too. <laughs> if if yeah. someone comes in and there's just this constant binging. Oh, my, my god! Yeah, my phone's on just silent or vibrate or whatever. But that's, that's, here's, yeah. here's another question. Yeah. Have we gotten to the point in society where it's okay to sit in a public place and listen without earphones to a video? Is that the kind of society we're living in, Jackie? Wait, like you're pro listening? No, oh, I'm not. Thank you. But, but everyone does that now. Okay, and even on an airplane, people do that. What is that? I, I don't understand. I'm, I'm like so bothered by I'm it. I'm like, do I like the, do I've I? I've actually the flight given attendant? someone earphones before. I've actually <laughs> like, in an airplane, yeah. someone was listening to something, and I pretended that I tried to give the person the benefit of the doubt. Maybe yeah. they don't have it. I'm like, hey, did you did you want these? For right. Free? And at that point, it's like, like when you hand them a tissue. Oh, yeah. Do you did you, you have sure? a tissue? Yeah. Do you want to blow your nose? Or you're like, here's ten dollars <laughs> to Starbucks. Do you want to leave the vicinity? Oh my gosh. But, no, I've I've had people on a couple flights recently where they're listening to their movie without. <laughs> 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 This is, I feel like I'm becoming uh, that fella from Curb Your Enthusiasm. But yeah. granted, I have headphones because I am a grown adult. I, that's another pet peeve is when people get mad at babies on planes. Ugh. Okay, right. Because I've, I've had four children and I'm like, yeah. you are a grown adult. Yes. You should have brought headphones with you. Like today I had a screaming toddler behind me, but who cares? I had headphones because yeah. I'm a grown adult. And also that before. child is incapable of controlling their emotions and crying. Right. You as an adult are capable of not chewing your ice in front of my face or <laughs> sniffing every five seconds or listening to that YouTube video, you know. I don't mind when toddlers are toddlers, but I mind no. when adults are toddlers. I yes, mean that yeah. That's so, it. That's me. it. Make adults make toddlers make adults adults again. <laughs> make Istanbul Constantinople again. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you liked and if you loved, subscribe.